Hi there, I'm Kath and this is a quick tutorial video to show you how to insert eyelets onto your handmade clothing to give a really lovely professional finish. And I'll be showing you how to insert those eyelets using these, the Prim Vario pliers, which work really well for inserting eyelets and I think they're a lot of fun to use too. So I think eyelets give a really great finish to any garment where you want to add a cord or a drawstring, for example, jogging bottoms, hoodies, a light jacket, anything like that. And I'm going to show you a couple of examples of garments I've made where I haven't used eyelets and where I have, so you can see the difference in the finish. So I've got two pairs of jogging bottoms and the first pair I made before I had my Prim Vario pliers and I didn't know how to insert eyelets. So here they are. And as you can see, I've threaded the cord through and I've made a hole using a buttonhole on my sewing machine, which works perfectly well and gives an okay finish. But I don't think the finish is as good as when you use eyelets. So I'll show you my more recent pair and where I have used eyelets on the waistband. And here they are. And I just think it gives a great finish and I think it'll make them more hard wearing going forward too. So I'm going to show you in this video how I go about adding the eyelets in using the Prim Vario pliers. It's really quite straightforward and like I said, it can be a lot of fun to use them too. So these are my Prim Vario pliers and I think they're a really handy tool if you're sewing your own handmade wardrobe. As well as using them to insert eyelets, I've also used them to attach on jeans buttons and rivets too. And I've used them to attach on poppers for things like baby clothes as well. So I've got a lot of use out of my Prim Vario pliers and I'll link them down below in case you fancy getting yourself a pair. And the other thing you need to attach eyelets as well as the actual Vario pliers is the eyelets themselves. And the ones I use are Prim brand ones and they're their five millimeter eyelets. Um, I've got the package here and I'll link it again down below. And when you get this packet, you get the actual eyelets themselves and you also get the two attachments you need to put on your Prim Vario pliers so you can insert the eyelets. So I'm going to turn the camera out and show you in detail what I do. So here are my Prim Vario pliers and if I want to use them to install eyelets, first of all I need to insert two attachments onto them here and here. And those attachments come when you buy this pack of eyelets here. They come as part of the pack and they look like this. So they each have this little stalk on the bottom that you use to insert into the pliers and then they each have a different top to use for each side of the eyelet itself. There's one that's got a little raised top and one that's got a little hole in it. And they fit onto the pliers really easily. You just pop them in the hole here and then sort of push them in. There's one. There's the other. So there they are, ready to go. And then with the pack, you also get the eyelets themselves. So there are two pieces to the eyelet. This is the front with a little raised part on it. And you can see how it looks here. And this is the back that's flatter. So they each pop onto one part of the pliers and they can be squeezed on. And I'll show you how to do that. So I've got a little piece of fabric here that I'm going to use as my tester fabric. And what I usually do with my fabric is I get the pattern piece um, with the actual indication on it where you have to put the buttonhole or eyelet and I make a mark on the fabric using a little chalk pen so I know where I'm going to be putting the eyelet so I'll pop a little mark on like this so I know exactly where the eyelet's going to go and the next step is to apply some interfacing onto the back of the fabric and I usually use woven interfacing so it's not an area that's going to stretch much and it's only a small piece so even if I'm working with stretchy fabric I don't think stretch interfacing is needed just something to kind of give a bit more structure and a bit more sort of durability to the hole where the eyelet's going to go. So I'm going to pop some interfacing on here and then I'll show you the next steps. So I put the interfacing on now here so it's nice and sturdy, vegetate the eyelet. And I've still got my little white dot here marked on for where I want the eyelet to go. And the next step is to make a hole in the fabric to ready for the eyelet. And to make the hole, I usually use a tailor's awl. So this is my awl here, it's nice and sharp, perfect for making initial hole in the fabric. So using my white spotter guide, I pop the it's all through there and create a little hole in the fabric and then that's not quite big enough usually for the middle of the eyelet so what I usually do then is get my little tiny scissors and snip a little bit extra so you don't want to snip too much but just a little bit extra to create a little bit more space for the eyelet to go through so you've got a nice hole there and then you can then try seeing whether you can push the eyelet through so I usually use the front section that's got this raised piece pop it on and see if I can push it through the fabric um, here. So I've snipped just enough there so you can see the eyelet's going all the way through, ready to be popped on. So once I know that's okay, I kind of leave that in because that's where I want it to be. There's the front there. And I get my tool ready. So on this tool, what I want is I want the front, this, this raised part here to sit in this part here of the tool with the hole in. 
So that one goes there. And then I lay the other piece, the back piece over the top, and it's got a slight raised part, and that's the one that goes towards the actual fabric, like that. So you can see the one that's got the little ridge around the edge goes on the upside there. I press down like this and give it a big squeeze. You should feel it sort of fall in place, and there it is. Press onto the fabric. So it's really easy, just a nice squeeze until you can really feel it sort of fuse together. And now it's ready for, to insert a cord. <laughs> so there's the eyelet installed. I just need to do one more if I'm making a pair of jogging bottoms. So I've got my two to thread the cord through. So just to be really clear on which parts of the eyelet goes with which part of the prim vario pliers, I thought I'd show you once more. So on the pliers, you have one piece with a hole in and one piece with a raised section. And the piece with the hole in is where you put the front section of the eyelet, which is this one here that has a higher top. So that just fits nicely into the pliers here. You can see there. And then this section of the pliers, which has the raised bit, is where the back of the eyelet goes. So the back of the eyelet, it's got on one side a raised middle, and then on one side a raised edge. Well, you need to put it on the pliers with the raised middle facing up. So this way up, if you can see that, it goes onto there. And once they're both in place, you can squeeze it together, ready to insert onto the clothing. And then I thought I'd mention one last thing, because a couple of people have asked me how I go about threading a cord through these tiny eyelets. Well, I have some tiny safety pins, which I'll link down below. And they're here, they're really small. And I use one of these to thread my cord through. So I just pop the cord, attach the safety pin, pop it through the hole, and then feed it around the waistband or whatever I'm making. So that is how I use my Prim Vario pliers to attach eyelets to handmade clothing. I think it's quite a quick and easy method and it gives a really lovely professional looking finish too. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. And if you have, please do give it a thumbs up and please also subscribe to my channel for future tutorials, as well as lots of sewing chats, pattern hacks, pattern reviews and that sort of thing. So thanks again for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.